good chance to stand up and stretch a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. It's the, the classic stream hiccup. It happens once a, once a stream. Thanks, Comcast. Also, we got this bad boy. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Felix. <laughs> oh, there was another cave over here. When my grandpa was younger, he ran a different shop before he opened the target carts. Oh. Okay, okay. Have I tried picking these up? Of course! In the most discreet of places! No. Okay, now I know. The true villain of Zelda's Comcast. <laughs> Whoa! This seems peculiar. No, it's nothing, I guess. Okay, so we have a sparring. Oh, and nothing over there. Well, cool. Now I at least have poked around all of here. Goron Gallery, great fun. Hmm. Oh. This is a Goron Gallery. Our game was a big hit in Lina Village. Right now, we're offering lava juice to one player with an excellent score. Want to try? It costs 20 rupees. You need to hear the rules? I do. Hit the balls into the targets with your sword. Fairies, 100 points. Blue, 30. Red, 10. Imps, minus 50. Strike, minus 50. You'll hit 10 balls, and your prize depends on your total score. Got it? Whew, okay. Okay, let's get started. Good luck. Oh boy. Um. Ugh. Well, at least I can't go negative. Oh. Oh goodness. This is this is going to be tough. Oh goodness. Jeez, man. I'm just too slow. Oh. Oh, oh, some of these are red. I can't see the difference. Whoops. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Hey, it's 100 points. Oh, that's the opposite of what I wanted. All right. Maybe that's good enough. Amazing! You win the lava. <laughs> wow. Well, they knew it was hard at least. What else can I win from this? You're not gonna tell me what I can win? All right. I do kind of like this. This is pretty fun. Eh, I'll take it. I feel like maintaining is really the true ch uh, challenge here. Hey, alright, so then, uh, maybe there's a little bit of tactics to this. Oh, it goes a little slower sometimes. Oh. Hey, that's worth it. It's still netting me 20. Ah. Yes. Can't stop me now. Ah, oh, I got the imp. Yeah, I guess I could have gone for 60 instead. All right, what you got for me? 300 points or more wins a geisha seed. Oh, I wonder if I could get a magic ring from him too. Hey, but I'll take that. No thanks. I think that was my favorite minigame so far. 
Get out of here. Want to hear the story of the rock carver of the Gorons? The bat blocks are bad. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that was enough. <laughs> I know. That's pretty ridiculous. I mean, they they knew. They knew it was tough. That's, that's still hilarious to me, though. Okay, so... So that settles that. Oh, I killed the plant. Well, I don't need to go up there anymore anyway. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the famous Goron. Hey, that key looks like the mermaid key the grateful, graceful Goron has. You want the graceful Goron's key too? Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it will work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the graceful Goron. So, can I have the lava juice? Sure. Okay, take this letter of introduction to the graceful Goron. If you show that to the graceful Goron, he'll understand. Yeah, okay. I'll take what I can get. I'm just gonna... Just gonna take the shortcut and then re-warp to the future while I'm down there. Oh, right. Eh, I'm holding it. Just gonna stand here and watch me burn. Well, all right then. <laughs> did I did I do something, Felix? I mean, I know that you're quoting a song, but also, I don't know. I don't know if it means something more. Huh? That. An introduction from a brother? What's this? Give me your mermaid key. How did he know I have it? Oh well, I can't turn down a brother's request, but I can't just give you this. Dance me for it. If you can match my moves, the mermaid key is yours. So, it's 20 rupees to try. Hey, why, why does everyone gotta take my rupees? Alright, here we go. Hey, I beat gold, alright, so... Surely beat this. You ain't got nothing on me. Don't step to don't step to Link. What soul? Since a brother has recommended you, I will do as I promised. Yes. Got the mermaid key. Come back if you need another lesson. Thanks, buddy. I love that the uh, Simrosians are are over there too, dancing with them. Hey, what's up, Za? How's it going, buddy? How's your day been today? Okay, now we can go into the past version of this dungeon. Ah, now these little statues are in good shape. Oh, look at that. And now the dungeon's basically um, reset. So that's interesting. I wonder if um, there's going to be like the ability to warp 
warp to the future from within. Oh, or I get the, uh, ow. Or I, maybe I get the, the level or the dungeon loot in the past, and that's, whoops, and that's how I do the thing. Um, I'll throw the feather on. Doing well? New job started yesterday, and I'm loving it. How are you? I'm doing quite a well. I'm quite, quite, <laughs> doing quite all right. Thank you, Za. Uh, I don't like these guys. I don't know what's going on here. Glad the new job's been. Whoa! I mean, I thought they looked like candles. I'm glad the new job's going well, though. That's super exciting. I think I remember you mentioning it last time too, but I'm still super happy for you. Wow, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh boy, I need to be way more careful than that. Uh, maybe, in fact, it would be smarter if I, you know, shot them from afar. You know, like smart, smart boys do. Whew. Okay. I don't trust any of this. I don't know what's going on over here. I will take those seeds! Whoa. It's not quite what I was hoping for though. Oh! Oh. Okay. Well, that, that makes sense. Oh, I gotta do them in the right order. <laughs> Alright. All right, so left, 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 center, all right, all right, left, center, down, right, Ayy. Wounds are hard sometimes, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, so what do we got here? Beware deep waters! Oh, is that what that is? Okay, so that... I think the ability is what I think it's gonna be. Or the... 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 dungeon loot, that is. Because I think it's specifically got to do with those deep waters. Yeah. Yeah, I got a feeling about it. Oh, maybe this is it. That is a dungeon map. Close enough. And I definitely meant to drop that magic seed in the water. Totally intentional, just, you know, and a little bit of seasoning to it. Okay, oh, okay, so, so that's all of that. Oh, and I didn't even get any keys from going this way, so I didn't have to go this route right away. But, on the plus side, I got the map, so at least, you know, I didn't get it past the point of it being useful. Um, let's go here. Oh, we got one of these rooms. Okay, so we're gonna need this guy. Where are you? That's one. Ooh, thank you. Hehehe. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, sneaky devil. Bam! Give me that. Hey, and the compass. Okay, cool. So now I'll be able to see where all the treasures are. It's not a ton. So there's a pretty good chance. Wow, that was a fairy. That was pretty lucky. Oh, it's the same level layout, though. Ha ha ha. Okay, I kind of dig that. Interesting that my uh, my keys don't work from the future, though. Which I think makes sense from a game design standpoint. But, you know, it's still technically the same dungeon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you guys just go crazy. Just don't come up here. They never drop anything either. 
Okay, so I guess that's it for over here. So this must be the dungeon loot. Ha 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 ha. Oh, of course. <laughs> Fell like a goof. Oh! Was there even a locked door? I don't know if I believe that. That's the same problem I had in the last, in the future dungeon. Actually, I actually think this dungeon makes better use of the, the time travel mechanic than Spirit Temple did in Ocarina. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. I think the one thing that would really sell me on that, though, is if, like, um, especially if I could jump back and forth in between time in the dungeon itself, instead of, like, going outside of it. Whoa! Ah! 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 I lost my sword! Um, so, like, if keys did carry over between the two versions, I think that'd be really cool. Oh, there was a locked door. I just didn't poke my head over here. Whoops. The blue whiz robes are the bane of my existence. Okay. I almost wonder... It's totally possible that that other switch doesn't get pushed down. I'm just gonna, just gonna put that, that jar there, just in case. You never know, man. Oh. Maybe neither of these move. <laughs> That's pretty funny if that is the case. Because they totally set it up to make you think that it will. And I'd be like, neither of them move. Joke's on you, chump. Whoa! Alright, we got wall masters. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not going back! You can't make me! Oh! Ah! Get ya! Uh, I thought he was dead. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. It's not even that far. Okay, well now is my chance to... to test this. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's that's the kind of troll troll level design that I I love and admire. Oop. There we go. And we'll get this bad boy. Yeah, I really feel like the red rod hasn't been super utilized in most of the dungeons so far. It's one of those ones that I kind of hope that there'd be a little bit more more to it, because I really liked the red rod in a, a Link to the Past. Woo ah! I love... Oh, jeez. Come on. I love that they love this combo. The wombo combo of the wall masters plus the... Uh, uh, I forget what... Uh, the bubbles? I think that's what these guys are called. Basically, the dudes that force you to lose your ability to use your sword. Oh, I thought he was going to loop around. That's fine. Everything's fine. Huh. Maybe the secret is in here somewhere? Or perhaps it's one of the walls? Huh. Oh, it was. I just missed it. Sneaky. Right. More bombs? There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, Bubble Zelda's Zelda 1's second quest had them everywhere. And those were the meanest ones out of the bunch. Those were the ones where it's like, and now you lose your sword until you hit a blue bubble. And you're like, wow, alright, that's cool, I guess. 
What a weird, random little puzzle. But it works, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest these. Yeah, I thought there might be some goodies in here. I get the feeling that we're gonna fight this sub boss over here. Or maybe there's two bosses? Oh, I don't have a key! Oh, no. Did I get the uh, compass? How do I go downstairs? Wait, do I have the compass here? Where does it show? Oh, I did get the compass. Oh yeah, it did, because otherwise I wouldn't have shown this treasures. Yeah, weird. Okay, so... Maybe I did miss something? Back... in the future dungeon? Hmm. Well, that's confusing. Get out of here. Ah, there we go. Hmm. And we had the other deep water elsewhere. And not over here. This is pretty, pretty tough. They've really got me stumped this time. Yeah, we've already been through here, although, oh, of course, they closed the door behind me. Whoop, there we go. You can't hide forever. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, I guess I'll poke my head back over here. Maybe if I just hurl myself into the deep water over here, it'll be fine. Oh, I gotta kill these guys again. Whoa, that's not what I meant. I meant to grab this guy. Whoops. No, 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 don't go this way. Ah! 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 Okay, so maybe there's some kind of little mystery hidden over here. I mean, like, my guess is that it would be the deep water there. Hmm. Definitely one of those weirder Zelda enemies, those walking candles. They are super weird, aren't they? It's pretty wild that they even exist. I don't think they'd be so mean as to like hide the underwater cavern in the middle of this like space, right? They wouldn't do that. Surely that wouldn't happen. I guess I'll go back to the future times. Hmm. And I thought I was totally stuck in the future. But maybe, maybe that was the right thing all along. I wonder if I just missed something really obvious. Hmm. 
I had to check. Well, on the plus side, now it's not going to take a long time to go back and forth. Whoops. So let's grab this bad boy. Oh, I'm in the tree. Go figure. Okay, I think this should be safe-ish. I swear I wasn't that far down. <laughs> this looks very familiar. What's up, Wellendor? How's it going, buddy? How's your day been today? There we go. Yeah, we're playing some uh, Oracle of Ages. And getting stumped at level 6. So what was it that I couldn't do in that upper room? I know why I can't get over here. Oh, okay. This makes so much more sense. I had to blow it open in the past. Oh, okay. They were clever. I'm back into it. <laughs> it's one of those things where I really didn't think that that would be persistent. You know, these guys are weird. They definitely do a good job at, at injuring me. No keys? I, well, I guess I already have so many. Oh boy, that's probably fine. Whoa! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Go, go, go. Go, go, Link, go. Oof. Here we go. This is where it's at. Okay. Uh, we know how to get across here. I've already played this game. I haven't been able to breathe through my nose for two days, but I'm alright. I haven't gotten the chance to look at that game, but I love the cover art. The, 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 uh... This game? Oh, this game's delightful. So I'm talking about the Spirit Temple never did anything like that. Nah, you're you're totally right. This this that's the thing that really sold me on this. It's cause it's like it's it's really clever and in it's one of those things that you would never really guess. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you see it and it's just like impossible to miss it. So I, I think it's good because they know you're gonna like you're gonna second guess yourself and be like, well, I guess, I guess I gotta go back to the future again. Oh, oh. It's, it's pretty genius. I'm I'm way into it. Oh, it's just a lot of spikes. I was like, oh, there's a staircase right there. Well, surely, surely there's stuff down there. Why are they horrible? Ah, ah, ah. You're the one you posted about in the Discord. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad. Glad you like the the box art for it. I was uh, whoa. I definitely was going a little too crazy while I was making that and started to do like a full rendering, and I was like, I don't got time for this. Oops, that was a bad time to scratch my head. Um, so instead I just used a bunch of the existing art and arranged it in a way that was, uh, I was looking specifically at the, the movie poster for Escape from New York, and I was like, yeah, this feels like it's got the right vibe. Oh, it got me. Whoop. Everything's fine. No problems here. But I, I hope if you do get a chance to play it that you have a fun time with it. It's... I, I feel pretty happy with it. I... Whoop, oh, thank goodness. I feel like it's definitely one of our more polished Game Jam game entries in a while. 
Alright, well... I get this feeling that this guy's gonna give me a riddle. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Test your luck! Great. Well, obviously left is always the answer because, okay. Gotta run out of snakes eventually, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so... So perhaps... There's an alternate solution here. One heck of a riddle. <laughs> Let's see, test your luck. Try do using this on him again. Test your luck. Actually playing Chrono Cross right now because I felt nostalgic. I really want to play Chrono Cross at some point. I've played a a like hacky version of uh, Chrono Trigger, but I never got my hands on Chrono Cross. Hmm. So it doesn't change when the snakes are already out. I was like, maybe if I overwhelm this room with snakes, that'll do a thing. This is, uh, this is interesting. What else could I do? I mean, like, maybe... Oh, I thought for a second that maybe there were fewer snakes, but nah. It's definitely not a thing that's happening. Just one more. There you are. I think I wouldn't mind lending you the discs when I'm done. I mean, up to you! That's... That's put a lot of trust in me. But I mean, like, I also would take good care of them. But, uh... Yeah, I would love to give it a shot. It's... It's one of those ones that I, I'm, like, afraid that I just won't have time to play it in a while. Although, I guess if I stream it, that would be a good one. I'm actually surprised that whenever there's been voting for a the next Chrono Stream, that people haven't voted for a, a Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Chrono Stream. Because that's always the joke. Well, it can't be something that can... totally be consumed, right? Because otherwise... Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do a thing here.
Hmm. Perfect. I mean, maybe. Nah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it has anything to do with how quickly you kill them. Hmm. What if I push them in? Nah, no, doesn't seem like that's a thing I can do. Yeah! Oh, I forgot I could throw those things. Huh. Man, what else can I even do? I already tried bombs. I mean, maybe other seeds? Oh boy! Alright. What are my clues? We're in Mermaid's Cove. I mean, like. Or cave. The cave is shaped like a mermaid, so that, that is a thing. Herp definitely doesn't seem to do anything. Damn, I'm running out of ideas. it's like a and these things are identical so it's not like it has anything to do with them what it's so literally just random also that's not at all what I expected to find in here but also cool Actually, look, you were just very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad it all worked out in the end. I was getting real worried for a second that I was just being dumb. I, I kind of like that, though. I feel like it, it was telling me exactly what was happening. It just, you know, they, they really gave it enough time to let that doubt sink in. Oh, I know what to do here. Kabow! We're setting passwords. No worries, man. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna go upward... Was it the boss key that I was missing up there? I don't think so. I wasn't missing the boss key... yet in the dungeon in the past. I was just missing a key. So why couldn't I... You know what? We haven't continued exploring this whole area, so maybe... Maybe there actually will be more over here. I can't remember if I blew up more walls or not. Whoop! Uh, yeah, we'll just use the mystery seeds. Kapow! And kapow! I don't think I need to hang out in here, do I? Oh, maybe. Ha ha ha! There was another wall. Perfect! Whoa, gosh! Get out of here. No one likes you guys. Ah, okay. Now it makes sense. 
Oh boy. Where are they taking me? I guess I'll I'll bite. I'll see what this is all about first. Well, there's definitely treasure in here. Hey, what's up, Oraline? Can't even imagine how frustrating that luck room could be for speedrunners. <laughs> I definitely agree. How's it going, Oraline? How are you hanging in there? Uh, can I get across there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a way down. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, way to walk right into him. Hey, but I did get a heart. And no dead wiz robes. Gotcha! Whoop! Not doing too good, bud. I'm sorry, Oraline. Yeah. I mean, keep hanging in there. That's the best that you can do. I, I hope you, you start feeling better, though. Or at least get back on your feet I think is maybe a better way of putting it <laughs> memes are always good pretty hard to go wrong with those oh I see this just loops around well hey also you my my phone's always open to you, Oraline. You can always call me if you ever need anything. I feel like you already know that, but like, I, you know, it's still still definitely a thing. Okay, so we got that key. So now, now we gotta loop around, play play some tricksy stuff over here. I don't remember resetting that. Oh no, I would have had to. I'm a doof. Okay. I feel like this is definitely the fool's route. Yep. So we're gonna go down and... Oh, I see what they want me to do. Okay. That's not too bad. Hiya! Not afraid of you, evil fairy. Those X things were Mega Man and a medieval torture device. <laughs> I could see it. I definitely could see that. That's funny. I mean, like. At this point, Nintendo probably could just, like, slam other games that were their competitors and be like, Psha, you ain't nothing. But, I, you know, I guess Capcom was... Actually, Capcom was still a pretty beefy entity at that point. I'm amazed you've come so far. I thought you a harmless turtle, but I miscalculated. At any rate, I'll finish this soon. It's this guy again. We fought him in, uh... Oracle of Seasons. Ouch! Pesky kid, take this! Whoa! Whoa ho 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 ho. Ah, 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 everything's fine. There we go. Bully! That's it, I'm serious. Me too, buddy. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Ow. Wow, he really doesn't do, doesn't do too much damage. All right, now we're at the point where I think I gotta like hop over these. Come on, where are you at? Ow. Maybe I just gotta. Whoops. Maybe I gotta shoot him with the little seed cannon. Ah! 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about nothing. Maybe I can like... Maybe I can lure him into a false sense of security. Huh? No, not quite. Maybe if my back is to him. Whoop. Actually, maybe that is a thing. Oh. Whoops. Oh, yeah. It's, it's whenever I'm looking at him, he seems to react. Huh. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it is just like the type of attack. Alright. I'm fed up with this nonsense. That cannon. If he's fought in Dungeon 6 in both games. Hey, that's fun. I played where that came from, but I didn't want to clutter chat. Well, now I want to see. Oh, it's a gallery. Let's just open up. Oh, it opened up Chrome. Darn you, computer. Now my CPU is going to max out. <laughs> I've never heard of that before, but it's still pretty silly. <laughs> Thank you for the meme, Felix. Uh, right. Let me use these. There we go. Fine. Goodbye. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> Im impossible. Not once, but twice. Varin, Onyx, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Ooh, he's donezo. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I wanted that fairy. Ah, shoot. I'm sure everything will be fine. In fact, perhaps there's more goodies up here. Hopefully, probably, maybe a little bit. Whoa! All right. Well, everything's coming up. Oh, of course, these are all bombs. What am I? Who am I kidding? Of course, they're all bombs. Whoops. All right. Oh, I only really needed one. Something that's not a bomb. All right. Have it your way, then. Hey, got mermaid suit. <laughs> now you can swim in deep waters. Press D pad to swim and then B to dive and A to use items. Aw, yeah. Cool. Well, now I'm excited to use this. Listen to that incessant beeping. Ooh, and while we're here, yeah. Whoa! Oh, that's so weird. Link. Whoa. Oh, ah, uh, controls are awkward. Okay, so oh, I see. That's why it said use the D-pad. It's like literally each tap is like a stroke. Neat. I actually kind of dig that quite a bit. All right, back to, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to grab everything because that warp spot's in a really inconvenient spot. What system was this game originally for? This was for the um, Game Boy Color, which is, I, I'm actually playing it on a Game Boy Color cart. It's just in the, uh, the Retron, so I'm... Why are you moving weird? Does he always move weird in water now? 
Oh, he does. Oh, but I can move faster in water. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's okay, Felix. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Was I... No, okay. There's more over here. This is where that last key probably was hiding. Oh, I gotta get rid of these guys again. I'm gonna run out of these fire seeds. Ah! Boop. <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming this way. Oh, boy. Ah. They are kind of cute, though. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> Narrowly escaped. I am become error, the destroyer of code. <laughs> Oops. Oh, all right. I gotta swim a new way. I gotta relearn in this whole thing. Oh boy. Man, it's a little weird. I get used to it eventually. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, now I'm low health. Look how fast I can go. Oh, I can't use my items down here. Okay, so I just gotta play it safe. Of course, there's electric jellyfish. These guys are kind of cool looking, though. Look at that. Um, I don't know. It's going deeper, smart. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Because I feel like... Wait, apparently I've been in this room? Oh, no. Oh, maybe I don't have the map? Oh, never mind. Ha, huh, just kidding. Wait, why would they... Unless... Can I use this? Oh, I can use some items. Which, funny enough, the item most like the hookshot. Huh. Hey! Oh, oh, oh! Alright, everything up. Oh. Strange how I can still fall down holes, though. Eh, I don't gotta worry about you. Alright, going to bed? Have fun, Chris? Thank you so much for hanging out, Wellendor. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, and I appreciate you, you hanging out with me. I hope you had a good time! I don't know if I said that already. My short term memory is not great these days. I think it's the lack of sleep. Uh, uh, this, this seems fine. Everything is fine. Oh, yup, yeah, yeah, that's good. Everything's just perfect. Okay. What did I... Am I supposed to... Oh, I guess I can't do it while he's being electrocuted. Which kind of makes sense. Oh. oh, I could, guess I could fight the current. Yeah. No, no, come over here. I want to fight you. Fight me. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll just brute force my way up here. Am I missing? Oh, there's a room upward. Whoop. Maybe I passed it and just didn't even realize. Oh, that was a room, not a wall. I'm a doof. Whoa! Ow. There we go. That's where it's at. <laughs> Sweet Prince. <laughs> Why you gotta make a weird Felix? <laughs> but also, I love that meme. At least, that's how I know of it. I don't know if that actually is from something outside of meme form. Other than like, some children's storybook. Oh, it's Shakespeare. Oh, well. I was close. <laughs> okay, cool.
Which one is that from? Good night, sweet prince, and may flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Hamlet. Ah, oh, I should have known that one. I actually do know Hamlet. It's been a been a hot second though since I've read it or seen it. Oh, okay, so that's how I can tell I can go back up. Okay, cool. Neat. I actually kind of dig that wa underwater system mechanic thing. It's kind of fun. I don't got to deal with you guys anymore. You just keep doing your weird little candle feet thing. Go oh, candle feet at the bottom. Chris, do you still have the lunchbox? I do! Yeah, let me grab it. I don't think it'll disappear in the, the chroma key. how you know you're getting old is when your hip hurts from sitting yeah here it is look at this sweet sweet lunchbox that Oraline gave me last time she was in well maybe not last time you were, was it like I think it was last time you were in town because it's been a hot second since you've been around here um, but isn't this thing cool and totally fits the like sweet like um, retro sci-fi like uh, synth wave kind of vibe of the the stream it's because Oraline is is a rather swell person. Wormling effect when you're underwater. It's really impressive for the Game Boy. Yeah, I I agree. Like even the Game Boy Color, it's like that that era that the technology was still oops was still pretty uh pretty weak. <laughs> Horatio says it to Hamlet, and Hamlet is dying due to Horatio's poison. Yeah, I, I mean, that that makes perfect sense. Last summer, I think, was the last time. I actually don't know for sure. Did you do Ludum Dare? I did! Here, I think I might still have it in copied to my clipboard. <laughs> I do. Bam! Yeah, that was the entry from from this year. It, it turned out pretty okay. At least, I'm, I'm happy with it and, and proud. It was one of those ones where, like, works got me in such a weird funk that when we started jamming, I was having a really hard time focusing, and like, I was just a total piece of piece of crap for the first day and a half. Um, and it it did something to my brain where it kind of knocked me out of my funk, and like, I realized, oh, oh boy, I I'm the only one that's gonna get some of these things done, so I gotta, like just like hunker down and just do it there's something about it that like snapped my brain out of it that was really refreshing it's like even now today at work I, I actually caught up on everything I was like whoa how did this happen so it was it was nice I'm actually really really happy that I jammed even if even if the jam doesn't get great scores I, I'll still be pretty happy that we ended up with with the game that we had. It's fun to beat. <laughs> oh, thank you, Felix. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The theme was, uh, your health is currency. So, I feel like what we ended up doing was what a lot of people will probably, probably did. Just like, you know, spend health in order to get abilities in sort of a roguelike fashion. Um... And we thought it would be cool to do it in theme with, like, a um, Star Fox styles, or, well, I guess Asteroids is maybe the better comparison, but, like, spaceship, you know, Asteroids shoot the, the Asteroids collect scrap kind of stuff. So we, I don't know, we, we had some, some fun with it. Oh, we have a, a deep water thing over here. You're still making games with that group. How are those guys doing? Mahoney and Eddie are the only ones I've kept up with. They're doing pretty good. Covert's... I I think Covert's still doing his thing at Way Forward. I've met people that were like, Oh, that was my boss when I worked at Way Forward. And I'm like, that's hilarious. Because I know exactly who this person is. 
And I like thinking of Covert as like a programming lead, which is pretty great. And Andrew's still doing his thing too. I still worry that he doesn't eat enough, but otherwise he's kicking butt on pixel art. I feel like he's definitely one of those artists that as I've seen him continue to work on stuff and post things, there's like a very noticeable point in which he like, his skills just kind of like skyrocket and you're like, wow, I think he's actually a better pixel artist than I am now because his animations are beautiful and he can crank that stuff out way faster than I can. Ah. And, uh, I don't know, Kurt. Hey, Kurt, I don't really know Kurt either. He, he seems pretty cool, though. I mean, he cranked out some pretty good music. Um, but he didn't, like, chat with us much, so I still... It, it's kind of his MO, though. Every time we've, we've done a jam with him, he's usually the composer, and I have very few interactions with him. Oh, I can't use bombs. I feel like there's got to be something. Like, it feels like that's an arrow, you know? Gotta go. I'll be on the Discord if you want more memes. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out, Felix. I hope you have a good rest of your night, and if... I assume you're at work. Maybe you're not, but... Either way, drive home safe. Or get home safe. Drive safe. All that, all that good stuff. Oh, I guess that's it for this room. I wanna... Oh, maybe... Oh, that might be the boss room that was adjacent to me. I could see it being like, as soon as I... Ow. As soon as I go into the boss room, there might be like, a little pool of water that I gotta pop into. I feel like this is... what must be done. Not particularly challenging, but you know, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Whoops. There we go. And you know, Eddie, Eddie's just doing his thing, being the normal doofus that he is. and then I'll just boop, boop, boop. perfect these kinds of puzzles in games always especially in Zelda games always interested me it's like they're definitely not challenging they're not totally unsatisfying to do it's like feels kind of like a time waster but you know I guess I'm okay with it when are they moving to New York City I have no idea uh it seemed like it was going to happen soon, and then... Oop, my mic was definitely away from my face. And then they visited, and it sounded like things didn't go super great, uh, but maybe not terrible. So I, I, I'm waiting to sync up with Eddie on it. We're going to meet up and get some coffee and and just chat about all of that stuff. So I'm I'm sort of in the the, the like still figuring out what's what's going on I guess with their whole plans either way I just hope that they're both happy when they go to New York that's all I really care about Oh, wait. Oh, I'm a doof. Uh, I think I want to do this. Hmm. Okay, so not that. Oh! I have an ability that perhaps I should use. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I didn't know that was a thing. 
think I'm gonna be a little bit further over. There we go. I swear I'm not always a doofus. All right, let's go fight this boss. I feel like I've been working my way through this dungeon for a century now. Are you a fish at the moment? I was a fish. I got a mermaid tail. Good luck to them. Should head up, Maddie. Yeah, definitely. I should too, honestly. And you'll have friends on either coast. It's true. Yeah, you know what? That's a good way of looking at it. As sad as I'll be that Eddie moves, may move out there, then it's like, well, no matter where I go, I'll probably be pretty close to, to some some good friends. I should come visit you sometime out in, in uh, the desert lands. I actually have no idea what it's like over there. It's been. Oh, maybe I want to go under. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was the room that I thought would be the boss room. Whoop. Okay, so maybe I gotta fight him. Whoop. Maybe I can do this? Nope. Just kidding. I guess I can't do any of it. Whoop. Well, I probably could do... Yeah, I guess I could probably reach this way, right? Oh. Alright then, how about I throw some of this at ya? Oh. Oh. Wait. Is that a thing? Do I throw bombs in your mouth? No, I don't think so. No, okay, that's definitely not it. Uh, so maybe I shoot you with a stink seed? Ow. Maybe I should just jump attack him? Hmm. Did I actually try hitting him with this? Maybe not. Oh. Dude, don't let Jen come through. Did I ever give you guys the Twitch mug I got for her? Oh, I don't think so. That sounds pretty new to me anyway. I think I'd play this on mobile. I should buy a Switch. Yeah, Switch is great. I don't think these games are on the Switch yet, but I feel like it's a no-brainer to, to throw them on there at some point. These are unrelated thoughts. <laughs> it's okay, you're all good. So this thing called Octagon, which is kind of funny. Oh, this thing is called Octagon. I thought for sure I did. I thought I brought you the lunchbox and another trip brought her something. <laughs> no, I can... no, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. May I I should ask her. Because I don't... I don't... That doesn't sound familiar to me, but... I have a terrible memory. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just go back under the water and... and oh! Hey, well, here he is. Whoa! This, this did not work out according to plan. Ah! No, no, no! Ah. Oh! Ow. Ah, no. Don't do that. Ah! What am I gonna do with this guy? Oh. Maybe I do throw these at him? Does they reappear at each time? I don't know. This whole thing is very, very odd. I guess I could try using the shield. I wonder if 
there is something else I could do. Oh, I can use these underwater. Okay. All right. This makes more sense. So I guess I can, whoa. I guess I can only hurt this guy. Whoops. When we're under the sea. Whoa. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. I get it now. Ah, whoa, I'm not dead yet. I still got my elixir too, but it, much prefer to not use that sucker up. Whoop. Oh, those darn bubbles. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, I'm, I'm kind of into this this fight now. This guy's kind of neat. That was a strangely aimed shot. Oh, that almost worked. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Come on. Oh, whammy. Big money. Whoa. Well, that, that was a... Uh, Whoop! <sighs> Could have had the world. Watch, it's gonna be like one more good hit. Haha! <laughs> I was that close. That's a shame. Well, I'm still glad I bought that potion. Why can't I go up? Oh, there we go. What are you guys throwing out there? What are you talking about? What are we throwing? Is there a lot of noise? Oops. Thumb gets a real workout from this mermaid suit. Yeah, no joke. It really does. Ah, uh, here we go. <gasps> I still do like, though, that I can swim a little bit faster. It's kind of neat. You got the... Barefoot Peak, in essence of time, is a proud, lonely spirit that remains stalwart even in trying times. That's kind of, it's like a very bittersweet essence. Hey, whoa, yawn! I just looked over and I saw it right before the, the, uh, what do you call it? The alert. <laughs> yawn, thank you so much, man. Welcome on in, everybody. Yawn. I already know what you're playing. You're playing God of War, but I'm going to do this anyway. Yawn. Solo was last seen saving the timeline of God of War. I was also watching your stream earlier today, too. It's I'm having a hard time, though, because I haven't played the new God of War, so I see you play, and I'm like, wow, this looks really great. And then I see some stuff, and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have looked at that because that was a bit of a spoiler. But I'm like, but I can't look away because it's all so interesting. I really got to play that game, though. I have no excuse at this point. Now, if I get hit by spoilers, it's all my fault. But hey, thank you so much, Yon. How's your stream? How's it going, everybody? This game taught me Barefrit was even a word. Yeah, I know. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Oh, my God, you have two. It's so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, for anyone new here, if you've never been here before... Uh, I'm a chrono streamer, so I play games in a, a franchise from this, the first game to the last game ever released. So right now we're on the Zelda adventure. And this is uh, Ocarina, or Oracle of Time, which is, or Oracle of Ages. Wow, I'm way all over the place. But it's, it's tops. This game's great. Chris, I have great news. Queen Ambia has just left the palace. Now is your chance. This may be your only opportunity to save Nehru. Ooh. All right, this is where things start getting real interesting, I'm guessing. Because I've never actually gotten this far in this game before. Uh, I guess I will fight Maple. Such an awkward place to duke it out. 
Yeah, what do you got? Well, there goes all of the items. I feel like we all just lost in this scenario. No, 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 that one's mine. You little, I'll remember this. All right, I'm just gonna fly my way to the dark tower, right? Is that, it's uh, it's uh, not the right way to do it. There we go. In this game also, we were talking about ranking the best Zeldas in chat tonight, and this is a great one. It's my favorite 2D Zelda, personally. Ooh, that's pretty high praise. I think, uh, ah, oh, shoot, man. I think Link's Awakening might still be my my top 2D, no, not top 2D game, my top Game Boy Zelda game, but I think my top 2D one has still got to be A Link to the Past, because that one, ah, oh, oh, that was, that was a, a defining game for me. But this one's, this one's a great pick, too. Yeah, I'm going to jump back to the South Shore. Oh, yeah. But I feel like A Link to the Past is probably the more, like, typical one that you would expect people to say. So maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm a little, <laughs> uh, what do the kids call it? Basic? SNES was my entry. Yeah, it was, it was exactly that for me. My, my entry was, um, SNES and Atari 2600 of all things. Because my dad picked it up in a garage sale. And he was just like, here kids, here's another game console I got for dirt cheap. And literal, a literal uh, paper bag full of Atari games. And you know what? It was, it was actually pretty awesome. Where's the ring shop? Does it not exist in the past? Maybe not. Just left the palace, now's your chance. Oh, wait, I don't want to go to the tower, I want to go up to the palace. This may be your only opportunity to save Nehru. Yeah. Yeah, about that. It's, uh, probably not how this is gonna go. <clears throat> Link Between Worlds hits the spot also. That, that game, I, I did really like it, but I, wh I still wasn't crazy about the, um, how all the items were in the shop. I think that's the only thing that rubbed me weird about that game. Chris, don't startle me. You also heard the guard on the palace was down and came to save Nehru? If anyone is gonna save her, it's me. I won't let you beat me to it. But it's no good entering from the front door. I know, there should be a hidden entrance in the palace garden. I'll sneak in through there. What? Why do I know about the hidden passage on my first trip here? Never mind. I'm coming, Nehru. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you uh, you have fun with that, buddy. Wow, it's surprisingly open. I'm sur I actually didn't expect them to let me just walk around. Wait, if they see me, are they gonna throw me out? Oh, I see how this works. You can't come in without permission. You're under arrest for stealing my dollar. Oh. Understand that for sure? Yeah. Oh boy. So in in uh the Twitch um what are they called? The like tags. Um you know how like each game has their own tags and you can also you know, have your own stream tags. For this game, it automatically added stealth to it, and I was like, stealth? That seems str That seems strange. Uh, like, oh yeah, there are little stealth moments like this. It's so easy to forget. I'm gonna have to hit those again. I find the Link Between Worlds to be superior to Link to the Past personally. My biggest issue with the Link to the Past is that the dungeons felt a little samey. I mean, that's totally fair. I, I think that's legitimate. Uh, and Link Between Worlds improved on that aspect dramatically. Some of the most brilliantly designed dungeons in the entire franchise. Ninja Link. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with all that. Okay, it doesn't look like I have to redo those. Um, 
the I think the reason why A Link to the Past still remains in my my top is I think it's it's one of the perfect like vanilla um, adventure games of like it was it was very um, defining for the genre so it's it's one of those ones that I think while it still was learning some things the hard way it set the example for a lot of games to come after that and I think it's it's not the only one that did that but it's one of the ones that I think did it the best and I tend to like I like to I, I appreciate the simple um, the simple like beauty of it I guess is maybe the way to, to put it hey hey here we go Bloop. oh now I could probably swim out in the ocean Whoa, all right, well, I'll still die there. Okay, well, I don't need no stinking raft anymore, at least. Alu? Hey, hey. So that was my issue with Breath of the Wild, the lack of dungeons. I completely agree with that. that I, I thought Breath of the Wild was great, but I think it only really sits in my top... I don't know, top four maybe? It's still pretty high up there, like I thought it was brilliant, but it really left me with a, a strong taste to want some like real deep dungeons like we got out of, you know, Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. It's probably sixth or seventh on my list. I mean, I, I think that's pretty reasonable. It's really all I want from Breath of the Wild sequel, honestly. More long, visually distinct dungeons. Everything else was near perfect. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely not alone there. It's I, I'm glad that I'm not alone there either in wanting that. Because a lot of people thought I was crazy when I started saying things like that. And like, I don't know. I, I, I love dungeons. I agree with some of the complaints about games like um, Twilight Princess and that the dungeons were super linear. Uh, but even then, like, I don't know. I, I still feel like I enjoyed the dungeons in... In, uh... Ooh. In uh, Twilight Princess 2. By the way, I'm stoked to get to go back and, and play Twilight Princess after so long because I don't remember anything about that game. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Everything's fine. Hiya! <laughs> Oh, I had to try. Oh, that means I got to go through that water sequence again. Well, I, I, I deserve that. That's not too bad. Okay, so now we know one route is seemingly fruitless. Oh, I don't have a map. I guess that makes sense because it's not a dungeon. Oh, that's definitely not a way I want to go. So let's go this way. I wonder if there's a ring. Now that I think about it, maybe that's exactly the ring that I just picked up. I wonder if there's a ring that turns me into a knight. That would be... That would make me very happy. Because there are definitely the rings that turn you into, like, the Subrosians and, like, like-likes. And other, you know, ghouls. Oh, boy. Nope. Ah! Ah! Well, at least they don't throw me out actually fight them oh oh they just run away wow they don't want you killing other humans ha that's kind of interesting hm. I can respect that oh Chris I am amazed you have come so far wait 
Do you mean to turn your sword on me? <laughs> if you want to hurt Nehru, then go right ahead. Oh boy. Here we go. Ow. So it hurts me if I hurt her. So I gotta find a clever way to do something about something. Hmm. Can I... Doubtful, but... Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to pick those up. Um... Hmm. I feel like this is a long shot, but... Hmm. Maybe a slightly smaller overworld, like shrink it by 15% almost got overwhelming at times. I mean, that's fair. Okay, everyone gonna take a shower and get back, get in bed. Got work in the AM. Always a pleasure being here. Thank you so much again, Yon, for the raid. I super appreciate it, and I appreciate you. You're a champion of, of the, the Time Federation. And I hope you get some good rest, man. Have, have a good day tomorrow, too, at work. Don't work too hard. Oh wait, I need to figure out what I'm actually trying to do here. <laughs> right, we're in the middle of a fight. Well, that didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I play a fun little tune? You, you like that? Do you, do you, do you like that, Nehru? Alright, well that didn't work. How about we just shoot some seeds at her? Maybe the stinky seeds? Huh? I feel like, whoop. I feel like that makes sense, right? Well, definitely not the stinky seeds. Maybe the mystery seeds? I feel like if it were seeds, though. Whoops, that's not. Neither of those are what I want. Oh! Alright! Not bad. But as uh, long as I am in Nehru's body, you cannot harm me, which means I'm invincible. <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't get another potion. Hmm. Maybe I gotta, like, pick up Nehru? Oh. Come on, pick her up. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, shoot. All right, we'll give this another go. Now I'm picking up, picking up what they're putting down. Get how this, this whole shindig works now. So it shanked be a, a problem, I hope. That's kind of clever though. I, I dig the the puzzly nature to it. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, I see. Maybe I just gotta shovel her. Oh, I guess this was the exact same path I took before. There we go. That's what I need. Do you remember at the very beginning of the game, Baron said she can't stand the smell of mystery seeds? Oh! Right! That's... That is? Wow, that's clever. I mean, like, now they're really playing memory games with us. Huh. I'm glad you said that, though, because I would have not have remembered that. Ow. Ow. Well, then, try this on for size, sucker. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm so happy that that works. That's, that's pretty delightful. Whoop. Oh, you juked me. Well, that, that was... Whoop. Ah. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. I love, I love wacky challenges like that. Whoops. There we go. Huh. Ugh. 
Not bad at all. Just wait until next time. What is this commotion? Oh. Huh? Chris? Where are we? Are you truly Nehru? You seem different. You seem nice. <laughs> the queen comes with impeccable timing. Oh, I see what's going on here. It only makes sense. Ha! The body of a queen suits me just fine. Do you know what I'm going to do now? Let me tell you. Meet the petrified ones. I shall catch them all. Well then. Nehru! Is it you? Is it really Nehru? Ralph, I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm fine now. Let us return to our own age. Yeah. What are you doing? Catch them now! <laughs> Bye, suckers! Thank you, Chris. We've safely pried me from Varen's grip. Now all the strange things that happened in the land should return to normal. I don't know. Oh, that's right. I forgot that they were petrified. <laughs> Look, it has no, no clue. Oh, right, and all the monkeys went extinct. Ooh, okay, so there's going to be quite a bit of different stuff going on now. Nice. But Chris, Varen's still in the past, right? If she is, then she... C can't she still create an age of darkness that would continue to the present? Sorry, Chris. I was the one running around while you did the saving. But know this. I'll be the one to stop Varen. I won't leave the people of the past to her. Evil deeds. Forgetting about Varen now would be foolish. If we do, she'll just come for Nehru again. Ralph, just like you said, I'll help in what little way I can. Chris, you have the Harp of Ages. I want you to keep it for now. I'm sure it will continue to aid you. Now, let me teach you the last tune, which will unlock the true power of the Harp of Ages. Yeah, yeah. I thought there might be a third song. You learned the tune of time. Play to move back and forth between the past and present. Yes. Choose it when you use the harp. Oh, 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 oh Chris. Chris, don't forget us. Go to Enrova. Nice to see you after so long, Chris. We are to Enrova, Garuda Witches. You are quite busy back in Holodrum. <laughs> you seem pleased to have rescued Nehru, but Abby's age is already filled with cries of sorrow. By extending the reach of the Dark Realm, Varen has spread sorrow across the land. Soon the flame of sorrow will ignite. <laughs> Now only one flame remains. When the three flames burn in the darkness, the evil king shall return. <laughs> th 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 thanks for the, the uh, you know, s slice of exposition. What was that? Those hags. What are they trying to do? I can't take this, Chris. I'm going back to Ambie's age first. May fate bring us back together. Bye. Oh, that was... Ralph. Yeah, right, bye, Ralph. There's little else I can do, so I'll return home for now. Stop by any time. <laughs> drink a little, a little cup of tea. Twin Rova is behind Varen. What did she mean by evil king? What's going on? Chris, this gives me a very bad feeling. You must stop it. I'm doing what I can. Chris, the next essence. That's weird, and the essence is echoing from inside a fish. Ugh. Ugh. Well, anyway. 
that seems like a pretty good place to uh, to call the stream for the night. Went a little bit over, which I'm happy I did. So let's see. So we've got two more essences left, and then the final boss. Oh, and then there. I think there's going to be more. So I think I don't think we jump back and forth between uh, the games more than once. So I think since we beat it in or Oracle of Seasons, I think we see the like true ending in Oracle of Ages. I was reading the other day that there was a third game originally planned, but they canned it because having them cross communicate between all three was just way too complicated, which I kind of agree with. I feel like that would have been a nightmare to develop for. You can jump back and forth for some extra little side quests, but they aren't required. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. I might do that a little bit, but considering that the Chrono stream is already scheduled to go all the way up to, what was it, 2021, 20, I probably won't spend, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta maybe not spend all too much time on side quests, but, oh man, I'm still curious. But anyway, thank you so much for everyone for hanging out tonight. I hope you all had a good time tonight. I mean, I certainly did, but it's, it's hard to complain when playing these delightful little games. Um, so I guess next time we're going to go down under the water. So I already have a pretty good idea. I don't really know for myself, so I don't forget that we're going underwater. Although I guess I could have just talked to the tree. Again. I can't remember the tree's name, but... Yeah, either way, cool. So I'm gonna find someone to go through a raid at. Let's see who's on. Man, Yon is the one that I, one of the ones I always look for to see if I can go through a raid at since he raided me. Guess that's off the table. Zaz streaming some Daganropa. Wix is playing Enter the Gungeon. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's, that's tantalizing. Enter the Gungeon's delightful. There's a couple of other people new to the uh, the Discord, the um, the Clubhouse Discord that I, I a couple of them are on. I want to watch them first because I've never actually seen them play. So I think I think we're gonna go raid Wix because I know he'll be streaming up pretty late. And Enter the Gungeon is a gosh darn delight. I've been thinking about the game ever since I started playing Isaac again. And I'm like, oh, uh, maybe I'll start playing some Gungeon. Cause, whew, and they just had an update not that long ago. Which I bet that's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. Okay. The raid has begun. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. I know I already said that, but... I super appreciate you all spending time with me, and I hope, I genuinely do hope that you all are having a good time, and uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Yeah, good night everybody! <laughs>